Check, microphone, check, check, one, two, three. Hey, what up, 360 booth operator? And well, future 360 booth operators. By the way, if you guys are thinking of starting your 360 booth business, this is the proper channel right below in the description box. I have two suppliers that I purchased 360 booths from. I got them at factory price. The warranty, the customer service, the price is kick ass. So make sure you guys get yourselves a good deal. Like I said, the links are in the description below. Guys, when it comes to help, I'm not afraid to ask for help. And I'm glad that you are not afraid to ask for help neither because asking for help is a sign of maturity. Okay, so we want to grow as 360 booth owners, but we're going to stumble across certain things, obstacles that really force us to get out of our comfort zone. And that's what I did. I asked uh, Brett from Mindsaw if he can give me feedback on my website. Some of you guys have been asking me, David, I want to create a website. Can you create a website for me? Hey, David, I have a website, but it's not ranking. When I look for my website, I can't even find it when I type it into Google. And so I, I soak up all that in and I realize I can't teach every individual one-on-one -on -one how to build their website unless I come up with like a class that I launch online. And I don't want to do all that because right now I'm trying to perfect other aspects of the 360 booth business. However, let's leave it to the pros and experts. Brett and Jazzy have a YouTube channel and what they do is they show you guys how to rank your business website, how to do a better job getting your Google business in front of more and more people. So let's go ahead and ju jump into this video. This video shows Brett going over my website. He's giving me feedback on my website that I created all by my lonesome, many hours in my room just for long periods of time because I want, I had that vision, guys. I work hard for my shit and I want you guys to work smart for yours, you know, because time is limited. Some of you guys have a full time. When you get out of that full time, you feel drained because that job no longer fulfills you. And that's why you're thinking, what is a way that I can escape this rat race? How can I start building wealth for myself? I want to be an entrepreneur. I'm motivated, but by the end of the day, I'm tired. So let's go ahead and save up some of that energy, guys, and let me continue trying to help you guys with your 360 booth business. And some of these principles can be applied in many different businesses, not just the 360 booth industry. So let's go ahead and dive into the video right now. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the feedback that I received from Brett over at Mindsaw. I'm just gonna go through the little sections where he really dropped some gold nuggets, and I'm gonna make those changes as fast as I can on Wix for my website. You have to figure out exactly what you do. Okay. I know it's 360. So he brought up a good point, I think around right here. What I would do if I was designing this website, now we're just talking about design, they're ranking really good and they, and, and I believe David is, is the fellow's name who designed this or contracted this through a design. Did a great job, great, great job. Did Thank you. Job. We're, just being, we're just being picky, right? We're just trying to get like that last 3%. Cool. Okay, so as long as you guys understand that, I'm not ripping into it. We're just getting that last. We're making it three percent better today. I think that this logo thing, this whole thing here, is too big. I would take it and put it to the left. If you look at all professional companies like IBM or or Tesla, or it's only these small mom and pops that have these huge. Cool. So Brett said, uh, make this a little bit smaller. It's probably too big, and uh, maybe, maybe move it to the left. Because of the characters, if I move it to the left and I shrink it a little bit, it looks kind of awkward. But one thing that he did uh, br bring up, and I don't know if it's going to be in the next few seconds, but I'm really trying to keep this video short, is he said that I have a lot of real estate here that I'm not taking advantage of. And he's absolutely right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to enter my phone number because Google, when you enter the area code of your business right here, it, it definitely helps you. So because it helps with the search engine optimization, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my number in this section and I'm showing you guys on a tiny little screen when I can actually be showing you right over here. So, okay, so Brett said this was too large. I know it's big. I kind of did it on purpose just because I really wanted it to pop when you visit the website. Maybe I'll shrink it just a little bit. I'll show you guys how to do that. And I'm gonna add my phone number right over here and probably add, uh, Brett said it would be cool if I add a little, let me see. And, uh Words he, said, right he said add a tagline or a slogan. So I would definitely make this smaller and I would bring it to the right. There's no reason for it to be in the center. There's no reason for it to be that, right? And underneath that, underneath the logo, yep. I would put like your tagline, like um, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken sounds really bomb right now and I'm hungry. So because I'm hungry, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to go to edit site right here. We're going to dive into my Wix website for my 360 photo booth business, guys. Uh, I was really happy when Brett said that the, the website is doing really good. It's ranking like crazy because I did all this work by myself. So I'm proud of it. You know, I got an e SEO expert to, to, you know, give me his feedback and it was good feedback. So I appreciate you, Brett, over at Mindsaw. So 
Okay, so we said this was too large and the way we shrink it is simply by just clicking on it. You guys are gonna do a really good job at this because a lot of you guys are already familiar with Canva. So you guys already know how to shrink stuff and just kind of work with colors and stuff like that. So if you just go to edit text and then just shrink it right over here from 72, you can shrink it to like 60, 60, 59 around there. So that is already small just like that. And then right over here, if I go to this plus button, I'll add this plus button and then I'm gonna go to text I'm gonna go to H1, that's adding one, and then that pops up right over here. I could put uh, contact us, contact us today. And I can put my phone number, 909-504-8431. Just like that. I'll go ahead and open this in a little bit. So let's see, how can we make this more appealing? I think we'll leave it as that at that for now. So Google's gonna see the 909 right over there. And then uh, Brett also brought up a good point. He said, uh, show the people what type of payments you accept. And whether it's PayPal, credit card, debit, uh, Apple Pie, <laughs> what did I say? I don't know, Apple Pay. And so, uh, so I'll leave that contact us today. I put my phone number right in there. I don't know if when they click on it, it's actually going to cost. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to highlight this little area right here, the phone number. In fact, I can actually highlight the whole entire thing and go to this link right here. And then I can add a phone number right there. Um, if you guys do have questions, you guys can always email me, DM me, or hit me up on the Facebook group. Um, like I said, my, my phone, this phone line right here, guys, is strictly for business. So from business to business owner, just uh, respect this line, 504-8431. So I'll go ahead and hit done right there. Okay, so that looks like it's going to work fine. So now I just added my contact us today, 909. Now the text actually looks kind of boring in comparison to everything else. And you might think, well, this looks redundant because you have a call to action right over here. And then you have your phone number right here. But from what I learned from Brett is that if I actually include my number, it's gonna help me with Google. So I'm gonna leave this on there right now. And then what I'm probably gonna do too is let's give it let's give it some funk. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make it. That looks pretty cool. That actually looks clean right there. So we'll leave that right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, contact us today. So okay, my thing is just I just wanted to make sure I included the number, like uh, Brett said, that, that number ha having that 909 area code really helps. Uh, now he also mentioned this. Let's go ahead and back, go back to the YouTube video here. Oh, and he said a slogan, right? He said we should add a slogan or a tagline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and add a tagline here. What I'm going to do. So this, since I already uh, shrink this a little bit, what I can do next is I can go to this plus icon right over here, and I can add the text again for H1. And put it right here, right in the middle. You see this a pink line right down the middle? That means you're centered. So that's that's a positive indicator that you're right in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead a 360 booth service provider. There you go. All right, and this right here, I think we can actually get away with uh, something more. Let's see trend. Let's see how it looks we use this trend actually this looks nice as is I think I'm gonna leave it a 360 booth provider as like the tagline you guys can get extra creative it's almost difficult not to take my time with this because it is my website guys and it, it's like it, because it's my website I want to make sure that I treat it with you know give it that finesse because it, it's a representation of my business so I put a tagline right out, right, right there. Um, it's black. It doesn't really go with this, but at the same time, it kind of stands out. So I'm gonna leave it as is for now. So a 360 booth service provider. All right, cool. So that's completed. I'm gonna save that so far. Okay, so far we have the number that we added, and then we added this tagline, and then we shrink, uh, we shrink this a little bit, uh, and then he mentioned something that. Uh, you know, I thought about it. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to keep that open mind. So he was saying something about, I do have call to action buttons, but they're a little confusing because this one says book now. This one says instant quote. And this one says call now. So uh, what Brett said is better to keep everything in uniform. So if I go to call today, it's going to call me directly. If I go to book now, what it does, it prompts the person to actual 
uh, my call my phone so it doesn't actually take them to the the booking section let's see if I'm if that's accurate so I'm gonna click on here Oh, okay actually it takes you to the price and booking so I'm gonna leave that as is just in case now he brought up a point and that's uh, him saying well what if I don't want to book now and I want to call first and most people would they call you before they book so to answer uh, that question it's because it's a great question is you would be amazed I would say about 50% of people don't call me they just book directly from my website which is a great thing because they'll book while I'm asleep they'll book while I'm doing something else and then some people actually call me with a good amount of questions so I'm, I get a good mix of both guys to answer your question uh, Brett is people call me and they book and people also are just very self-reliant self-sufficient and they'll just book directly using my website just because the steps are so easy and also Brett uh, says something about these uh, the style of text right here the swamp it's kind of difficult to read um, I want to leave that as is for now, but I, I did I did hear them out hear him out and then instant quote I'll probably change it to let's change it to um let's see let's change it to instant quote mm, I'm probably gonna write call call now that way um it's a call to action to call me now some people actually like calling on the phone this is already call now mentioned something about making this a a footer so I will work on that later uh, because that's not too too important um, so some of the pointers that I really I thought were important like I said was using up this real estate right here of course I have real estate over here as well and also shrinking this and adding a tagline having a tagline is a good idea uh, let's see okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save that for now and let's go ahead and continue moving forward with what uh, Brett has to say about the website here booths for uh, phone booths for parties in San Bernardino, uh, Orange County, Redlands, California. So he mentioned uh, this back picture. He said it should be a picture that Google will find familiar. So when you type in 360 booth, it actually shows just right. 360 Five booth. Star rated or top rated or uh, something like that. Because I need to know what you do. I know you're doing this for SEO, but I want to know what you do. 360 booth. Doesn't so he's right. I do this for SEO. Uh, the reason I do it for SEO is because when you have these keywords on your H2, this is gonna help you guys out and like I said I'm trying to expand so the 360 boot San Bernardino is definitely a territory where right now I can honestly say and grateful that I really have on lock right now just because of the amount of work I put in for these keywords and I do want to expand out to Redlands I want to expand out to Orange County I want to expand and take this to the global no, I'm just kidding. that's too much I don't want to do all that there's other things I have in mind guys but so let's go ahead and keep rolling with this I, I, it has to be a little more specific now, okay so he uh, he said maybe make this like a 360 booth five star rating or a five star company. I think that's a good idea. However, when I change this information right here, it's gonna also affect my SEO. So I try to make this as as SEO as as possible friendly and optimized to where Google the algorithm acknowledges it, not so much for the actual visitor to come over here and say, oh, they they have five stars. Although I know that that's really going to help, there should be a testimony section on my website that takes you to my Google page and they see all of the sterling reviews and glowing reviews that fortunately I've been able to acquire over time because of my performance and hard work. Okay, cool. Let's see what else we can uh, elaborate on. I try to write notes right here. And this is a big, this is a big thing with us is I know you use this picture as your picture, right? Because you dress up like this, you put the glasses and the lips and bow tie and stuff on. But if I put in 360 party booth, right? Mm -hmm. If I put that search term into Google, what does Google see as Images. what does Google see as relevant pictures for that party booth, right? Yep, top rated yard. Party booth. Okay. So if I put images what images do they see as a party booth? So as you guys can see, when you type in 360 party booth, that's the actual images you guys see because there's a lot of vendors before there was even 
uh, providers, service providers, there was vendors because it takes vendors first to put out the product and then you can provide the service once you purchase the actual equipment. So that's the reason why you see so many 360 booths because vendors are actually paying for ads to get the 360 booth in front of your face so you can purchase from them. But no one really wants to spend over $2,000 on a 360 booth. And that's why guys, I share suppliers that are going to only charge you a fraction of this amount and I'm talking about half of that amount to get your 360 booth directly to your door, guys. The description holds those trusted sellers, those verified suppliers I've dealt with on my description. So if you guys want to get into the industry, just know that there's a lot of 360 booth operators that already got started and saved a bunch of money using these providers, these verified suppliers that I've already dealt with, guys. So don't buy retail price, man. All right, let's go ahead and, and uh, skip all the way to 30 seconds. I think at 30 seconds, he brought up a good point here. So only six pages are indexed by Google, meaning that there may be more pages on this website, but Google's only seeing six pages. Google's only seeing six pages. So you want to make sure that all your pages are indexed by Google. So I need to reach out to Brett and elaborate and expand more on this topic because it says uh, Google recognizes six pages. If you guys go to my uh, website, I have one, two, three, four, five pages. There's actually six pages of blog on here that I'm no longer using. It's embedded in my website, but I, I don't have it visible. So I think that's what he means by six pages is like six pages, meaning six tabs. And so I think that's what he means. I, I'm, I'm only assuming at this point, but I feel like that's what he means. So this is something that I got to reach out to him and, and, uh, and really have him go and really analyze this a little deeper. So I really appreciate the time he took today to, to kind of like, uh, you know, critique and give me that what feedback. What I do if there are more pages on this website, let's just say this site is 20 pages. An important thing that I also want to move forward talk talk about is citations. And um, maybe you guys can reach out to Mindsaw and like his information's right here and ask him, hey, I got a brand new website. It's not ranking. What can I do to fix that? I can tell you guys exactly what I did, but I can't do it for each individual, but I think Brett and Jazzy, they're actually set up to provide that type of service for you guys. And this is the reason I'm, I reached out to them because I know that a lot of you guys are frustrated saying, David, my website, like it's just not ranking. It's just not showing. I'm not getting any calls, any leads. And I understand where you're coming from. It could be frustrating, but don't worry guys. I'm going to continue to show you guys what tools I'm using, what people can help you out. Like I said, what services are working for me, products, all that stuff. I'm always going to be transparent about that. Okay. So Let's, let's take a look at this website. Well, like I said, it's very good. I'm not saying anything. It's very, very good. Thank you. Right? Nice website. I like the YouTube video. I would change the title. Throw some more keywords in it. Yeah, so he mentioned the title on YouTube. Throw some more keywords in it. So what, I, what I'm doing, and you guys can actually see for yourselves right here. So on my YouTube channel, I have... Oh. I don't know. There's a place that shows how many videos I have. But as you guys can see, I have the same video, but I title it different with different keywords because I want these videos to rank for those keywords. Uh, so I don't think Brett, of course, knows my master plan, but this is what I'm doing. So 360 Booth Riverside, 100 and 170 people seeing it just uh, in this area. They actually clicked on it. And it, even though it's, it, it's the exact same video, as you guys can see, that each location has a different amount of views. It's the same exact video posted the exact same time or maybe a few minutes apart. But you guys can see 360 Boost Marino is the most dominant one. And I'm always testing out locations. But these are locations that eventually I want to start ranking for because I have a second booth and I need to keep that second booth occupied. I need to have that thing running because we're here to scale our businesses, guys. We're not here to be running just one 360 booth for the rest of our business. No, we got to scale the business, grow the business, sell the business and move on to the next thing, right? Right. Very well laid out. Another thing is I would put a footer here. Right, right. Got that. Okay. So, so right here he goes over the products. I know a lot of you guys aren't selling products. So I'm going to go ahead and move to 38. I think it's 38. I put the address because it was just a, it was important. We know that they're a divorce attorney in okay. New York City. Here's where they're located. So then Brett was showing an example. This is a website uh, him and his partner are currently working on. It, apparently, I believe it's a divorce lawyer. Yeah, it's, that's exactly what it is. And so this is what he meant by having the, the logo, the slogan on the left side. And what's uh, really smart here is make sure you guys put your address on here. My address, I can actually do that. I should probably put my address on here as well. That's going to help 
with the placement and it's your mapping location i'm sure and the algorithm the more information you provide a uh, google with the better and then he wrote really big right here call us now and then he he did this right over here and then he added this information well i think it's a really clean look so i'm gonna somewhat copy this information right here i already did the phone number i have to find a way to do this here too to make sure what type of payments i'm accepting so that way people can see that uh and uh like a, this is a blank space right here but that's cool and then he has his tabs right here all right right my call to action is right here on the right hand side you notice there's only one call to action she just wants people to call exactly right exactly so you basically want people to book you in quite just you want people to get a hold of you as fast as possible and make it as easy as possible so yes those call to actions are extremely important by the way a huge shout out to every single operator that made it to this live view uh, i heard some of the names he was calling out and i recognize those names i've seen those names either because they've subscribed on the youtube channel or they're part of the community on the facebook group or i have them as an instagram friend so shout outs to i, I know there was yard uh, yard party in there for well and as well and then there was uh uh luana anyways there's a few people that ring about so guys big shout out to you for diving into a situation where i said hey guys watch this this is going to help i'm always going to teach you guys different ways to become more savvy towards the business that we're in so that we can stand out so everyone that was on this live today congratulations i did not know brett was going to pull forward with this because they ha he had an accident with his dog as you guys kind of heard from the very beginning so i thought he wasn't going to do it at all but uh you know fortunately he actually went on there and he did his thing so i really appreciate it i wasn't on here because i was under the impression that the show wasn't going to go on because the incident they had with their dog and from what i understand the dog is cool now uh it's, it's so congratulations i'm glad your four-legged companion is doing great brett all right thank you i'm doing this really just for therapy right now because i'm really really i'm really really upset about my dog man yeah okay. thank you dj uh and, and i don't mean anything disparaging about this website it's, it's a great website. I'm just talking about how do we make it better? And that's the reason why David reached out to me. Not yep. so we could, you know, say, ah, he doesn't know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Guy's ranking like crazy. He's a monster. <laughs> he seems like he's a really good businessman as well. But I'm just talking about kicking it up another. Thank you, Luana. I'm just talking about kicking it up an extra 3%, right? Thank I'm you. I'm just talking about kicking it up an extra 3%. So the fact. So I don't know exactly what Brett did on his end to. To, uh, to realize that it's a high ranking website because he has tools I'm sure he has a lot of tools that I don't even know where to start with these type of tools he might he might already acquired and have for uh, his other businesses and stuff like that so I'm gonna hit publish for now right here and then we're gonna go to done I'm gonna go ahead and close this and then refresh here so now it's a little bit smaller here and it says a 360 uh, booth service provider which tells you exactly what we are I didn't want it to be too confusing so I added that just now go to the main page um, I probably ch I'm probably going to change this as well and then the picture in the background as well uh, book now and then call now and then call now so I'm trying to keep everything in uniform and then the callback number I'm sorry the callback number you click on that it's gonna call which is great so those are the minor changes I made to the website and I am very glad that there wasn't too many things that I should change. Uh, There's a lot of things that Brett brought to my attention that I was actually doing right. So that was just, a, you know, confirmation that, you know, I'm on to the right track. And this is probably the reason why this website is ranking. So as you guys can see, if I go to site sessions. And there's a lot of things that happen that go on behind the scenes of how I, why I include what kind of tags. So. There's actually been a huge uh, average duration. There's been a huge drop, from se a seven minute drop, which is pretty significant. And I think it's because we're going into a recession. People are going back to school. So right now people are not spending too much money. So they're cutting down on expenses. They're tightening their budget. So I believe this is a reflection of the economy that we're currently in right now. Okay. So guys, let me, let me go right over here. Um, I hope this this uh, helped you. I know we're barely touching the surface of how things can really affect your website and the ranking. But like I said, I am not a huge expert when it comes to SEO. I do have a understanding and I've applied those 
uh, you know, I've applied those methods and strategies to my website and it's, it's having a positive effect on my business. And the reason why I introduced you guys to Brett and Jazzy is because they are SEO experts. They've been doing this for a while. Their business revolves around this type of service. So I want you guys to reach out to them and let me know what experiences you guys had with them. So if you guys can move forward, go ahead and reach out to them. This is super cool. He took his time to, you know, critique and give me feedback on my website while his you know he was under a lot of pressure one thing that stood out to me is that brett said that him doing this was like therapy he mentioned it like three times so when, that's when you know someone is passionate about what they do when they find therapy in it so him just giving me feedback on my website and that being therapeutic for him that means that you can't lose man the, the man loves what he does so i hope you guys move forward in a positive way be calculated do your research and move forward don't be afraid you know there's plenty of tools and services and people that are going to help you throughout this journey you just got to keep an open mind guys so it's a pleasure talking to you guys i hope this video helps to a degree i'll see you guys in the next one take care